Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you greatest common factor or GCF with prime factorization. So I have one video on finding greatest common factor using division ladders and now I'm going to show you how to do it with prime factorization. And this is what I would like you to do for three numbers. Now there's a reason why I want you to do this for when there's three or more numbers, but you'll know what that reason is later. So here's greatest common factor. If you haven't watched my first video on greatest common factor, check it out. In this, I'm going to show you, here I have 24, 36, and 60, and I'm going to find the greatest common factor of all of those three numbers and see what the biggest number that can fit into all of them is. Now, in order to do this, you need to know how to do prime factorization. There's also a video on prime factorization. So here you can see I've made factor trees for all three of the numbers. You're going to have to do that on your own, but in order to save time, I've done the trees here. Now I haven't written their prime factorizations yet, I've only made the trees. So here's how this works. Once you have your three numbers and you've made your factored trees for all of them, we're going to list them in order. So I'm going to start with 24, 36, and 60. And I'm going to list all of their prime factorizations right on top of each other. So 24's prime factorization was 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. So let me see. There was 2 times 2 times 2. There was 3 2's and then there was a 3. The 30, prime factorization of 36 was, here's 36, 2 times 3, well, 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 if I put it in order. It's easier if you put it in order. So there were 2 2's and then there was 2 3's. So that's for 36. And then the prime factorization for 60 you can see I did 6 times 10 and I broke those down. There's 2 2's, 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. So 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. So here are my three prime factorizations. Once you have all three prime factorizations written, this is how you're going to get the GCF. Because remember, this is to find the GCF using prime factorization. So I just wrote the prime factorizations of all three numbers. And now you're going to look for any matches in the list. So I can see that they all have a 2. So I've circled that 2 and so the GCF is going to have at least a 2 factor in it. And I'm going to cross these off because I've used them. Now I can all see that they all have another 2. There's a second 2 in all of these numbers so my GCF is going to have another 2 in it. Notice that I'm multiplying. So they each had a 2 and then they each had another 2. I'm done with these ones. And then if I look at the numbers left, this one has another 2, but the other 2 don't. This one's got a 5, but you can see they all have a 3. They all have 1, 1, 1, 3. At least 1, 3. This one has two threes, but that doesn't matter. They all have 1, 3. So that means the GCF is going to have 1, 3 in it, and then I can cross those off. So the numbers left are 2, 3, and 5. They're, they don't have any other common prime factors. So I take all the prime factors that matched, in this case it was 2, 2, and 3, and I just multiply those together. So that's 4 times 3, so that's 12. So the GCF equals 12. So 12 is the biggest number that goes into 24, 36, and 60. And this is how you can find it using prime factorization. I'll show you two other examples real quick. Again, I've already done the factor trees for you. So here I have 16, 64, and 32. I've made factor trees and I've gotten prime numbers on the ends of the branches. You should know, already know how to do that. So now I'm going to write their three numbers, their prime factorization, sorry. So let's see, we've got 16, we got 64, and we got 32. I'll do equal signs this time. So 16's prime factorization was 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, so it was 4 2's. Notice how I'm not writing it in exponential form this time because it makes it easier to use. Then 64's prime factorization was 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, so there was a lot of 2's. There was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 2's. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. There we go, 6 2's. And then 32 was 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So that, wow, it's only 2's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five. There was five twos there. So it's only twos. They all only have twos. These only have twos as their prime factors. So now I look again, I'm gonna see. They all have one, two. So it starts with a two. They all have a second two. Okay, so they all have at least two twos. Then they all have a third two. So they all have at least three twos. And they all have a fourth two. And again, I should be crossing these off as I write them down. So they every one of these numbers had four twos as part of its prime factorization. So I'm going to do four twos. I'm going to multiply these twos together to get my GCF. That's four times, that's four. Four times four is 16. So the GCF equals 16. So the GCF is 16 of, of course it fits into 16, fits into 64, and it fits into 32. So that was the GCF there. One last example. Here I have the numbers 28, 56, and 70. So again, I've done all of the factor tree for you. You can see 28 is 7 and 2 2's. I'm going to do 28. Oh, let me put it in order. It's 2 times 2 times 7. And then 56 is... If I look back here, one, two, three, three twos, and then seven. You can already start to see how it's going to play out. And then the 70 has a two, a five, and a seven, and it's factor ladder. So there's my three prime factorizations. Now I'm ready to look for the common factors. So they all have two. Uh, uh, uh. They all have a two. That's what it starts with. Cross those off. Now these two have twos, but the third one doesn't, so I can't use the twos anymore. Even though these two have a common two, the third number doesn't have a common two, so I can't use it. But they all do have a seven, if you notice at the end. They have a seven, a seven, a seven. So, cross those off. There's no other numbers that these have in common. So it's just 2 times 7. That's 14. So the GCF equals 14. And that's how you find the GCF of 70, 56, and 28 using prime factorization. Good luck.